Well, good morning, everyone. Welcome to spring. It's here, it's here. And you've heard the robins yelling it outside, haven't you? It's here, it's here, it's here, yes. Ah, beginning of March, we're in March still. March was winter. And then at the end of March is spring. And in a couple of days, it's going to be a new month called April. Right, right, it's so good to see that nice bright sun. The more we get together, 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 the more we get together, the happier we'll be. For your friends are my friends and my friends are your friends. The more we get together, the happier we'll be. Yeah, good morning and my name is Granny Jean and this is Tales for Tots and Rye Free Reading Room presents every week. And you can see me uh, and Tales for Tots Anytime during the day, just click on the um, uh, calendar and then you can go to the uh, YouTube where all the past ones are too. So by all means, <clears throat> um, stay with your children and give them the, the, the most uh, benefit out of this program of their language and literacy. So here we go. I see a bird here. Do you know what kind of bird that is? Huh? It has wings, it can fly. And it's a robin. And there was a robin in my backyard the other day. And it looked like he was tired. I think he flew a long way just to be here for the first day of spring. Yes, he was. And this is his song. Yeah, that's the daddy. That's the daddy. Robin in the rain, what a saucy fellow. Robin in the rain. Mind your socks of yellow, running in the garden on your nimble feet, a digging for your dinner with your long, strong beak. <clears throat> Robin in the rain, you don't mind the weather. Showers always make you gay, but the worms are wishing that you would stay at home. Robin on a rainy day, Robin on a rainy day. Don't get your feet wet, Robin, on a rainy day. <coughs> <coughs> Excuse me. Now, why does a robin like the rain? Because the, the worms like it too. And then they go right up to have a drink. And that's when the robin gets them. <laughs> <coughs> and that's his dinner. Absolutely. <coughs> so here we go. <coughs> Count me sing. <coughs> robin in the rain. What a saucy fellow, robin in the rain, mind your socks of yellow, <clears throat> running in the garden on your nimble feet, digging for your dinner with your long strong beak, <clears throat> robin in the rain, you don't mind the weather, showers always make you gay, but the worms are wishing that you would stay at home, robin on a rainy day, robin on a rainy day. Yeah. Now, <clears throat> the robins are around here, look like that. And <clears throat> that's, um, <clears throat> uh, <clears throat> but there are birds in other parts of the world, way over on the other side. And the one is called a kookaburra. <clears throat> we don't have kookaburras here, but they are there. <clears throat> and, they're, and their song <laughs> sounds like someone laughing, doesn't it? <coughs> it does. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry. <coughs> so this is a kookaburra. Can you say that? That's a funny word, isn't it? Kookaburra. Kookaburra sits in the old gum tree. M merry, merry king of the bushes. He la kookaburra la. Kookaburra gay, your life must be. Kookaburra sits in the old gum tree, eating all the gum drops he can see. Stop, Kookaburra, stop. Kookaburra, please leave some for me. Kookaburra sits in the old gum tree, counting all the monkeys he can see. Stop, Kookaburra, stop. Kookaburra, that's not a monkey, that's me. Oh my goodness me. Do I look like a monkey? Well, oh, probably I do. <laughs> Kookaburra sits in the old gum tree. Merry, merry king of the bushes. He loves Kookaburra love. Kookaburra gay, your life must be. Kookaburra sits in the old gum tree. Eating all the gum drops he can see. 
stuff, kookaburra stuff, kookaburra. Please leave some for me. <clears throat> kookaburra sits in the old gum tree, counting all the monkeys he can see. Stop, kookaburra, stop, kookaburra. That's not a monkey, that's me. <laughs> uh, oh dear. Well, my gracious. Let's see what we have here. Just kind of a nice spring day. Maybe we're out in the farm, right? I think we're out in the farm. Sure. I see a couple of catbirds. They're building a nest here. I haven't seen a catbird around here yet, though. So maybe that's somewhere else. <coughs> <coughs> Well, let's see, Wizzy Wizard has a tip before we start our first book, okay? Uh, and this tip is for all the caregivers. Talk with the ch your children in the language that you are most comfortable in and most, most fluent in. It is best to hear, uh, it's best for children to hear language spoken fluently. And if children know one language well, uh, they, can, uh, uh, they can learn another one more easily probably because then they have the concepts behind the language. So by all means, um, keep that in mind. And that's something that I didn't know, um, you know, a long time ago. <clears throat> My first book today is Down by the Station. Well, we all know that song, right? But here is a book by Jennifer Riggs Better called Down by the Station. I'll take the cover off so that it doesn't get in my way. And there is the train. Do you see the train? Huh? Maybe, let's see. Let's move this over. That. There we go. Oh, I see a fireman. <laughs> Down by the station early in the morning. See the little puffer bellies all in a row. See the engine driver pull the little lever. Puff, puff, toot, toot, off we go. You can sing along with me too if you'd like. Down by the depot early in the morning. See the yellow school buses all in a row. See the school bus driver warming up the engine. Vroom, vroom, beep, beep. Off we go. Yeah. Children are going off to school. Down by the truck stop early in the morning. See the mighty tractor trailers all in a row. See the friendly trucker pulling on the air horn. Pull, pull, wonk, wonk. Off we go. <laughs> oh, yes, they love to do that, don't they? They love to. <clears throat> give you the horn when you ask for the right. Down by the work site early in the morning. See the giant excavators all in a row. See the operator digging with the bucket. There he is. Clank, clank, scrape, scrape. Off we go. Oh my goodness. Wow, where are we now, huh? Down by the airport early in the morning. See the jumble jet planes all in a row. See the airline pilot push the throttle forward. Roar, roar, whoosh, whoosh, off we go. Wow. Down by the water early in the morning. See the bobby sailboats all in a row. See the salty skipper pulling up the mainsail. <gasps> flap, flap, splash, splash, off we go. Oh, where are we now? Huh? Can you guess? Down by the racetrack early in the morning. See the speedy race cars all in a row. See the fearless driver revving up the engine. Zoom, 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 off we go. Now, where are we? Yes, down by the firehouse early in the morning. See the shiny fire engines all in a row. See the firefighters turning on the sirens. Wee -oo, wee -oo. off we go. <laughs> Can you make a siren sound? Wee -oo, wee -oo, wee -oo, wee -oo. Huh? Ah, where are we now? 
Whoa, down by the launch pad early in the morning. See the solid rocket boosters all in a row. See the launch director starting up the countdown. Three, two, one, blast off, we go. Whew, my gracious. Down by the station later in the evening. Everybody's sleepy at the end of the day. See the engine driver stop the locomotive. Shh, shh, shh. Here we stay. Yeah. Even, the, <clears throat> even those big <clears throat> engines go to sleep too for the night, right? Sure they do. Well, <clears throat> hmm. We, we still have a lot of cold days ahead, I think. Ooh, the north wind does blow. We could get snow. And what will poor Robin do then? Poor thing. He'll sit in the barn and keep himself warm and cover his head with his wing. Poor thing. That's how a bird sleeps. He tucks his head under, the, under his wing. Yeah. So oh, here we go. Can you help me blow? Come on. <gasps> the north wind does blow and we could get snow. And what will poor Robin do then? Poor thing. He'll sit in the barn and keep himself warm and tuck his head under his wing. Poor thing. Yeah, just like that. That's how he sleeps. Well, let's see what we have here. <clears throat> I have some corn that is growing <clears throat> and it looks like someone's not taking care of it. Look at that, the cow's in my corn. Uh-oh, uh-oh. And it looks like the sheep are running away there. Where are the sheep? Oh my goodness. Oh, there. <clears throat> Where is that little boy? Little boy blue, come blow your horn. The sheep's in the meadow, the cow's in the corn. Where is that little boy that looks after my sheep? He's under the haystack, fast asleep. Will you wake him? Oh no, not I, for if I do, he's sure to cry. Why would he cry? He's a little embarrassed, huh? Falling asleep on the job, you know, not a good thing. The little boy blue, come blow your horn. The sheep's in the meadow, the cow's in the corn. Where is that little boy who looks after my sheep? He's under the haystack, fast asleep. Will you wake him? Oh, no, not I. For if I do, he's sure to cry. Yeah, I think so. I think so. Uh-oh. <clears throat> well, do you have a new baby? Well, do you have a new baby in your house? You were a baby once when you were a, a little while ago, right? You know, long, 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 long time ago, I was a baby too. Can you imagine? 10 tiny toes, and I was lucky I had 10 too. And this is by Todd Tarpley. 10 tiny toes, look at that little baby. What a cutie. <laughs> And there are all those children. First they're babies, and then they start to toddle, and then they run. Right, 10 tiny toes. Look at all those gorgeous toes. Look at them all. Into the world came 10 tiny toes, a hundred times sweeter than one could suppose. And look, the mommy's made a little heart around the feet. Look at that. Or maybe it's the daddy, maybe the grandma. Think? Oh, toes that were little and tender and tasty. Toes more delicious than cinnamon pastry. And look who's tasting them. <laughs> the dog is giving them a lick, huh? You have a dog that licks you? Toes you could nuzzle and nibble and bliss. 
toes you could patty cake into a kiss. Oh, look at that. They were rocked, they were swung, they were kissed from above. Look, oh, look at those little babies. They were covered in bubbles and smothered with love and nothing on earth you could ever suppose could be loved half as much as those 10 tiny toes. Oh. They kicked and they crawled. They dangled and danced. They wiggled and wriggled. They pre <coughs> preened and they pranced. Look at that. <laughs> and soon they were hopping and bopping and bumping. And then they were running and skipping and jumping. Look at that. And as they got older, their confidence grew. They learned to do things that small toes couldn't do. Right, feed the dog, look at the book, play ball, right? Babies can't do that, they're too young. They tricked and they treated those tiny, 10 tiny, those 10 tiny toes did. Went on Halloween trick-or-treating, do you remember that? A long time ago. Hmm? They pushed and they pedaled, they skated, they slid. Look at that, someone's learned to ride a tricycle. Uh -huh. Someday, when those 10 tiny toes are all grown, happily raising 10 toes of their own, perhaps they'll remember back when they were small before they could toddle or waddle or crawl. I can remember. Mm -hmm. They'll think of the kisses that made them feel strong. They'll take all those kisses and pass them along. Right, right. Yes, we treat our babies the way we were treated. Important. Because nothing on earth you could ever suppose can ever be loved quite like 10 tiny toes. There. To Samuel and Ethan, my 20, 20 tiny toes. I guess you must have maybe twins, I think. And that's by Todd Tarpley. <clears throat> well, you have a grandma. <coughs> I'm so sorry. <coughs> I had a grandma. I had two grandmas. One grandma lived upstairs where I lived. <clears throat> and that was a long time ago. And she had a pair of glasses just like Granny Jean. I wear them so I can see better. And so did she, but she called them spectacles. So pretend that you are, you're my grandma, right? Long time ago, a hundred years ago. Here are grandma's spectacles and here is grandma's hat. And here's the way she folds her hands and puts them in her lap. Can we do that? Here are grandma's spectacles and here is grandpa's cap. And here's the way he folds his arms and sits like that. Yeah, my grandpa used to sit in his rocking chair reading the paper with his knees crossed like that. Do you remember that, huh? Did your grandpa do that? Probably not yet. He's probably huh, about the age of my, my son. <laughs> there we go. Here are grandma's spectacles, and here is grandma's hat. And here's the way she folds her hands and puts them in her lap. Here are grandpa's spectacles, and here is grandpa's cap. 
And here's the way he folds his arms and sits like that. <laughs> yeah, long time ago, a long time ago. <clears throat> well, this is a poem by Jack Prolutsky. Kitty, 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 what are you up to? Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. Kitty caught a caterpillar. Kitty caught a snail. Kitty caught a turtle by its tiny turtle tail. Oh, no, kitty. No, no, no. <laughs> kitty caught a grasshopper with a sticky bit of thread. She tried to catch a bumblebee. The bee caught her instead. And what did that bee do? He stunk. You don't play with bumblebees, right? <laughs> so here we go. See if you can do this with me. Kitty caught a caterpillar. Kitty caught a snail. Kitty caught a turtle by its tiny turtle tail. Kitty caught a grasshopper with a sticky bit of thread. She tried to catch a bumblebee. Bzzz. The bee caught her instead. What a silly cat. Jack Prolutsky, wonderful poems for little, little kids. And big bright pictures too. <clears throat> the Golden Egg Book. Oh, look at that. This is by Margaret Weiss Brown. And she was the lady who wrote Goodnight Moon. And I think you all know of Goodnight Moon, right? This looks like a very special egg. I wonder what's inside it. I see a rabbit. But that is a beautifully decorated egg. It must be very special. Let's see. Do uh, you think it's springtime? I think it is. I think it's springtime. The Golden Egg Book. Once there was a little bunny, he was all alone. One day he found an egg. He could hear something moving inside the egg. What was it? Maybe a little boy. <laughs> Maybe another bunny. Maybe an elephant. Maybe a mouse. Who could tell what he would find? And how would a little bunny know? But there was something inside that egg. He could hear something moving. He shook it. Then the bunny pushed the egg with his foot. He jumped on top of the egg. He climbed a tree and threw nuts at it. He rolled the egg down a hill, but still it didn't break. And whatever was in the egg didn't come out. So the bunny threw a rock at the egg. But because he was only a little bunny, it was a very, very little rock, and he didn't throw very hard, and the egg didn't break. Well, that was fortunate. Pick, 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 pick. Something was trying to get out of that egg. The bunny sat very still and watched. Oh, his through his shiny eyes. He sat very still and listened with his big, soft ears. Peck, peck, peck. Then the little bunny began to yawn. Oh, and now he yawned and he yawned and the egg was very quiet. He curled up all sleepy and warm close to the egg and went to sleep. He went to sleep because he was so sleepy. Then, pick, 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 pick. 
and pick, 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 and crackly crack, out jumped a little yellow duck. Well, what is this? said the little duck when he saw the bunny. What could this little fur thing be? <laughs> the bunny was very sleepy. So he was still asleep and didn't wake up. Inside the egg, said the duck, I thought I was all alone in a small dark world. Now I find myself alone with a bunny in a big bright world and the bunny won't wake up. So the duck pushed the bunny with his foot. and jumped on top of him and <clears throat> threw a little rock at him and rolled him down the hill. <laughs> and the bunny woke up. Where is my egg? <clears throat> <clears throat> said the bunny. <clears throat> and what did, <clears throat> and where did you come from? We never mind that, said the duck. Here I am. So the bunny and the duck were friends and no one was ever alone again. So was something very precious in that beautiful egg? Yes, it was a friend, right? It was a friend, a good friend. They're precious. <clears throat> well, now who else lives on the farm besides a cow and the, and the sheep there's a black one <clears throat> and he has <clears throat> quite a lovely <clears throat> fur coat called fleece and he gets haircuts every now and then <clears throat> and we make blankets and sweaters out of them right sure and here he is a black sheep baba black sheep have you any wool Yes, sir, yes, sir, three bags full. One for my master and one for my dame and one for the little boys that live down the lane. Baba, black sheep, have you any wool? Yes, sir, yes, sir, three bags full. Can you sing that with me, huh? You could clap <coughs> or you can move, right? Baba, black sheep, have you any wool? Yes, sir, yes, sir, three bags full. One for my master and one for my dame and one for the little girls that live down the lane. Baba, black sheep, have you any wool? Yes, sir, yes, sir, three bags full. Oh my goodness, thank you very much. <laughs> and you look very nice in your new haircut. Hmm? We all get, we all got haircuts. Black sheep and Granny Jean, too. <laughs> well, <clears throat> so we said that this month was March, right? And the next month is April. Well, there's another one coming, too, called May. Those are the spring months. March winds and April showers. Bring forth the May flowers. Right? So here we go. You help me. Come on, blow. Ooh, March winds and April showers. Bring forth the May flowers. Right. <clears throat> and this is a rain stick. And it's sort of a gourd, it's hollow inside, and they put a lot of seeds in there. And it sounds just like rain. Hmm. Oh my goodness me. We didn't learn very much about bumblebees, did we? I'm bringing home a baby bumblebee. Won't my mommy be so proud of me? I'm bringing home a baby bumblebee. Oh, 
It stung me. We don't pick up bumblebees, do we? No, we just look at them. They're very interesting to watch. I'm bringing home a baby bumblebee. Won't my mommy be so proud of me? I'm bringing home a baby bumblebee. Ouch! It stung me. <laughs> well, <coughs> that's pretty silly. We don't play with bumblebees, do we? No. But I think it's now time for our goodbye song. So, so bye bye to Kookaburra and bye bye to Mr. Robin, bye bye to Kitty <clears throat> and Grandma and Grandpa. It's time to say goodbye and bye bye to all my friends and bye bye to Granny Jean. I'll see you next week. Have a wonderful April day. Bye bye. <laughs>